Hi viewers, this is Terminal Crazy with Ozdotes.com, taking a look at some dual lanes that can dive under towers and fight deep in enemy territory. Huskar is a fearsome fighter in the mid game, but often struggles a bit in lane. With only 400 range, he's easy to kite around. Later in the game, you can keep Huskar at lowish health to get the most damage output, but early on when he's still susceptible to nukes, you've got to keep him healed up. Points into inner vitality early mean you take even longer to come online and start getting kills. Huskar also has no real disables, so you have to chase deep into enemy territory, and even though he usually secures the kill, it often results in him dying to tower damage or rotations. Winter Wyvern is an excellent lane partner for Huskar. This is a natural position 5 pick, so she doesn't need to take any of the farm, and can focus on healing up Huskar, stacking neutral camps, and helping secure kills with her slows. Each time Arctic Burn comes off cooldown, you should be able to get a kill, or send someone back to the fountain with minimal effort. The added range from it also allows you to initiate from the shadows and stay out of danger. Cold Embrace heals for both a flat rate and a percentage of max health. This keeps it relevant throughout the entire game, especially as Huskar is a strength hero and often builds tank items such as Satanic and Skadi, giving him a very high maximum HP. It also gives you 100% protection from physical damage while frozen, although magical and pure damage still go through. This combines well however with Huskar's passive magic resistance, making it even harder than usual to finish him off. You won't get him out of there alive every single time, but keep him alive long enough just to get that extra kill. These two skills are what lets you tower dive with this duo. The immune piercing slow makes it easy to chase, and the heal lets you block damage from the tower or aggroed creeps, and it brings Huskar back to a good level of HP to stay in the lane. I find that people tend to forget about the Winter Wyvern heal, and so they'll often overextend while going for a kill on Huskar, or they'll react way too late, leading to some very clutch moments. These guys still work well when you're out of lane. Winter's Curse is a great way to hold the entire enemy team still, while Huskar goes ham on them. Winter Wyvern doesn't rely on any items except for maybe Arcane Boots, but I like to build Urn first so that Huskar can skip it and focus on beefing up. Huskar builds are usually fairly similar, but Armlet is pretty good with this combo, as you can overlap heals to keep him going when his health is low. Abaddon and Razor. Razor's abilities are most useful when you can get up close and personal with the enemy. To maximise the damage from Static Link, obviously you need a way to stay close to them. Your ultimate also has a fairly low radius of effect. Razor can't really dive on his own, as he's a bit too fragile to tank tower shots early in the game, but Abaddon's abilities let Razor deep strike into enemy territory all day long. Curse of Avernus places a debuff on enemy heroes that not only slows them, but speeds up and buffs anyone attacking them. So when Abaddon is hitting someone, Razor can keep up with them more easily, and the bonus attack speed makes the most of his link damage. Curse stacks with Orb of Venom as well, giving you a 17% slow at level 1 and making it really tough to run away from Abaddon. The alternative then is to stand and fight him. Going toe to toe with Abaddon is always dangerous, as his shield swings a fight very much in his favour. Now if Razor is nearby as well, he can throw a static link onto the antagonist, they're now forced to try and retreat. The dive begins. Once Razor gets into tower range, Abaddon can cast a second shield onto him, both to block the tower shots and also to provide a little more AoE damage to finish off the kill from a distance. If you start to get a big level advantage, the shield damage combined with Razor's nuke can make every other kill a double kill. Once Abaddon hits level 6, he can take tower aggro and tank with his ult. Abaddon's slow becomes less important later, and his focus shifts to keeping Razor alive, as Razor thrives in a long drawn out brawl. With several purges between them, disables just bounce off, making these guys really annoying to bring down. Picking up a mech and drums on Razor is fairly standard, and that works fine here. On top of the Orb of Venom, I'd say that a Medallion of Courage is a pretty good item for Abaddon to take in this, as Razor is putting out a ton of physical damage. Thanks for watching another episode of Wingmen. Please subscribe to the Ozdos channel for more. I know it's pronounced Abaddon, but old habits die hard.